guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the video that I was supposed to upload on Friday, but I didn't get a chance to film it, and it was going to be a di well, let me start that again. Basically, I had a different video planned, but in order for that to have happened, I had to do a certain thing, and that didn't happen, so... Um, changing it up slightly so this is going to be the video I had planned for next Friday which is struggles of being a fangirl so if you don't already know I am a fangirl and I have been for 11 coming up to 12 years which is a little bit insane when you start thinking about it because 12 years, that's somebody's lifetime. In fact, that's actually my cousin's lifetime. Sorry, I just had to, I had to prop the camera up. I probably should have done that before. But anyway, so 12 years. So I'm going to start by telling you guys my fandom story. So in order to do my fandom story, I have to go back in time. Now, I can't actually do that. I'm not Hermione. I don't have a time turner. I have a Polyjuice Potion mood lamp, but I don't somehow think that's going to turn me back in, take me back in time. I do have some wands, but again, I'm pretty sure there's not a spell to take me back in time. So, going back in time. 2010. 23rd of July, 2010, 8.22pm. Yes, I remember the date and the time that I discovered a certain boy band. And if you know me personally, you already know where this, where, where this is going. You already know. It is 1D. They were my first band and I was obsessed and I do mean obsessed I had literally everything in fact I still have a lot of merch for one day a lot of it is in my loft right now which is kind of embarrassing to say that out loud but I just I don't physically have the room but I do have right here a 1d Build-A-Bear it says I heart 1d and a very young looking picture of them. I will always love one day. And fingers crossed they come back one day. But anyway, so it has obviously progressed a lot since then. I am now a fan of multiple bands. If you, like I say, if you know me personally, you already know. I do love a lot of bands, but that's not all I'm a fan of, and it's not all you guys can be a fan of. Being in a fandom does not mean that you like a boy band or you like a singer. It means you are in a community and that you love something, whether it's a boy band, a singer, a TV show, a film, a cartoon whatever it is you can be a fan of it it you, you can just do that if that's what you want to do it's what I did and I'm not gonna lie being a fangirl for 12 years like we, we can basically say it's 12 years because it's coming up for 12 years And I'm back. Magic of, ed magic of editing, guys, come on. <laughs> magic transition, obviously. So, as I was saying, with 12 years of being a fangirl behind me, because it is co it is coming up for 12 years for me, which is a really long time to dedicate yourself to something. I mean, I, I've been dedicated to a lot of things, and I don't think, I don't think I've ever done 12 years of like anything not even 
I don't even know how I've probably been in education longer maybe but that's a personal choice anyway confronting with 12 years of experience of experiencing the highs and the lows because it is I'm not kidding you it is a roller coaster being a fangirl of a band a singer a tv show films oh my god the death of dobby so sad anyway <laughs> um i have experienced a lot of highs and a few lows in there as well so this video is going to explain the struggles that I personally and my fellow fangirls and fanboys hi, will have experienced on a daily, if not yearly, basis. So, let's get started, shall we? Struggle number one is people not understanding. What I mean by this, this can be either not understanding a reference or not understanding if you're so invested in something, if it's a TV show or a film series or a band, whatever it may be, if you are really invested in it, as I have been and I am, it's like literally all you can think about. It's all you, it, it's all you talk about, it's basically basically with fandoms they can take over they really can i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys my fandoms have taken over my life i'm not the same person that i was i've yeah it is what it is but if people don't understand the a reference that you make or why you're wearing something or why why you look like a certain character if it's a tv show or a film series it is hard but it's also if you don't have any real life friends that are in the same fandom or you know they like something that you do like they get it because they they are in that fandom they understand the highs and the lows if you don't have that it can be really difficult because you basically end up either talking to a camera like I'm doing now or you end up writing it down or if me personally I didn't do that I didn't talk to a camera I didn't write it down perhaps I should have done but I didn't I just talked to my toys Not the best. Don't do that. I mean, it wasn't until 2015, 16, somewhere around there, when I discovered Amino, and it was then that I started making friends all over the world with people that liked the same things I did. And it was like, all of a sudden, all these things that I was keeping inside or talking to myself about or whatever, all of a sudden I had real people to talk to, real people that understood it, understand the highs and the lows and would, if I said a reference to them, they get it, they understand what that reference means, it's not something I have to sit there for five minutes, five, ten minutes explaining what this reference is and why it's important. <sighs> Struggle number two, being bullied. This is quite a big one for me because obviously being a fangirl for almost 12 years, I was a fangirl in high school and in college as well. And that led to people thinking it was funny and thinking that a 15 year old that didn't have any confidence anyway was walking around with a One Direction school bag or a One Direction lunchbox or 
but whatever. Or even a One Direction phone case, for instance, because when I was 16 I got my first iPhone. And I had a personalised phone case. If you've seen my iPhone case video, I will link it down below and I'll also try and link it in the card up here. But, regardless. It kind of links with the first one of people not understanding. And if they are so naive enough that they don't get it, they don't understand why you choose, you know, you make a personal choice to dedicate yourself to one thing or multiple things, like in my case, it is more than one thing. If they don't understand that, they're going to make fun of you for it, like they did for me. I was made fun of and everyone in my year group, they thought it was funny that the year I was taking my GCSEs that I was walking around with a One, Direc what? A One Direction bag or when I was in college I had a five seconds of summer backpack and a folder and a notebook for it to do my maths work in and I had a pencil case, I had the whole shebang and I was I was under the impression, the probably really naive impression and I won't be the only one here of when it was coming up to start getting ready to go to college for the first time i was under the impression that i was gonna make friends with somebody that was in the same fandoms as me was quiet you know similar sort of personality to me <laughs> yeah that didn't happen and it backfired hugely <laughs> put it this way it didn't end well I'm fair to say my experience at college was mm, not the best. No. So, there you go. A little bit of backstory for you. Anyway, struggle number three. It's no money. Like, I mean, I have said this for a good few years now. All the work and dedication that us fangirls and fanboys put in, especially for actors, singers, yeah, actors and singers, like, we work so hard. Like, if it's a film, for example, like the new um, Fantastic Beast film just came out in the cinemas, us fans of the Harry Potter Fantastic Beast franchise, we are using the hashtags on social media. We are getting it out there that this film has come out and this film is is gonna be amazing because the first two were insane. Like I really enjoyed the first two films, but this this is not a review of the Fantastic Beast film because I haven't seen it yet. Please no spoilers in the comments, by the way guys, no spoilers, no, 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 but regardless, having no money sucks so bad because you see all this merch, like there's the new Fantastic Beast film that's just come out, Harry Styles is releasing an album on the 20th of May, which if you guys want to see a reaction to that album, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below that you want to see a reaction to the Harry Styles album. 20th of May, by the way. But there's all this new merch coming out. We don't get paid for the work that we do. You know, talking to the actors and celebrities on social media, getting the, the hashtag for the new films, hashtags for the names of the album. We do all this and we get nothing. Nothing. You literally have to use, we we have to use our own money for film tickets, concept tickets, merch. It's it's insane. It really is. It's yeah. It's a struggle. Yeah. Struggle. Number four. It's not enough time 
what I mean by this is not having enough hours in the day to do everything that you need to do as a fangirl, whether that be getting noticed on social media, making an, an edit for Instagram, you know, I mean, as fangirls and fanboys, we do so much. I mean, I am running, I run a Twitter fan, fan account, I have an Instagram, I have a YouTube channel, obviously, because you're watching this, and I have a Tumblr, and I have to kind of move over, move aside all my fandom stuff, and focus on my work as a student at university. It's, I was saying this to one of my friends the other few weeks ago maybe, being a fangirl is basically you live the Hannah Montana lifestyle. And what I mean by that is you spend half your time, so like this half here, doing normal things like work, school, college, uni, whatever. The other half of the time, which is over here, doing your fandom stuff. But you've got to find that balance. You really have. You've got to find a way to make it work. Whether that means that you do, you do all your uni... Instead of splitting the day, because that's what I used to do, I used to split my day doing that, so I would end up getting distracted, especially school, college, probably more so in college because I could actually have my phone and I headphones, which doesn't help, it, it really doesn't. Instead of doing that, what I've learned personally, instead of splitting the day, because there aren't enough hours in a day, split the week. There are seven days in a week, you can do Monday to when to Thursday, that's four days of doing normal things. Socialising with friends, family, course work. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days of right, fandom, fandom, fandoms. Let's make an edit, let's make a YouTube video, let's do this, 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 this and this. And even if you feel the need to, I mean, I could do this if I wanted to because I do have an iPad and an Apple Pencil. Write it down. Write down, like, a list of what you want to get done in your week. If that be, you spend four hours, for instance, in one day making an edit for Instagram. Great. You spend four hours on that one edit and then you flick, flick the switch in your brain and say, right, no more fandoms for now. I'm going to put my fandomness on hold and focus on the normal stuff. I, I think that makes sense. That probably made more sense in my head than it did out loud. But anyway, and finally, struggle. Hey guys, so sorry for the abrupt ending to a previous clip of this video, but my camera just cut off for some weird reason. <clears throat> but this is going to be me finishing off the struggles of being a fangirl. As you can see, it's a different day because I'm wearing something different. So, yeah. So I didn't get a chance to, um, to finish filming this video, but I'm here now to film said video. So, the final struggle that I could come up with, number five, is no social life. Because, let's face it, when you are a fangirl or fanboy, you do not have a social life. You do not have time for a social life. You try to make time to be with friends, family, whatever, but let's face it, you do not physically have time because if you are not 
absolutely dedicated to your fandoms like if if you're not a fangirl or fanboy you you aren't you are not gonna get this you're not gonna get what i'm trying to say but if you are a fangirl or fanboy give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you can come up with any more struggles of being a fangirl or fanboy and if you would like to see a part two to this video or any more fangirl videos or you have any more ideas for what you want to see on my channel comment them down below or message me on social media this has been struggles of being a fangirl i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys